Okay, Mess. Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. yeah. Great. Okay. So, if you can't see what we are doing, you can get up here. So, basically, what we have uh, made is. Morten, yeah. move around, please. I know. <coughs> Uh, what we have made is a, a device to make it comfortable for you at home. It's a device, it measures uh, the light level, the light intensity, and it measures the temperature. And then it uh, adjusts the temperature by turning on a fan if it's too hot, and then it uh, turns up and down the light. And it also turns on a light uh, through a relay. So in order to simulate that, that uh, it's quite simple. We have uh, made the controls, put it all in a box. Let's see if I can. So we have this nice control box here where we have indicators for whatever it's doing and an on off switch at the side. So uh, we are we using a light sensor yeah. and uh, also a temperature sensor. sensor. I think it's, it's here. here. Yeah. And, um, we have a switch yeah. on, this, on this side of the box. Yeah. This is uh, a construction made of Lego bricks with a roof to kind of co convertible one to, so, uh, to do, do the shades. Uh, it was in initially intended to control the, the light dampener on the light and the relay that turns on the light was actually was supposed to be the light it would control. But uh, now we made this construction uh, due to uh, material bags. So also we have, uh, when, if it's uh, very warm, we have uh, a cooling fan mm -hmm. for the home. Yeah. Also here, so we can make a demonstration. Yeah. Uh, Shall we turn it on? Yes. So it happens. Then, if, uh, I don't know for you, you, you in the back, you probably can't see the lights up here. But uh, let's turn on. And we can see actually the fan is starting. And that means it's uh, quite hot, so let's start by. Cooling down the. That's for speeding up things. Yeah. Basically, uh, this fan here is uh, controlled with this uh, temperature sensor, so when it's get hot, it's gonna start up. So let's see if I'm hot today. <laughs> yeah. Wow. And then we can see it starts. And uh, when we. Light indicators here. And the indicator goes on, so we can see it's on. Now we can see the light goes off, but the fan is still spinning. It's because it's made to slow down. Slowly and uh, so we keep it noiseless, so we don't. And uh, that's basically the, the stuff about that. Yes, and now we have the, the light sensor for the roof. Yeah. And uh, yeah. if uh, we want to uh, make some shade for this guy here yeah. and uh, close the roof, yeah. if it's very sunny, it comes the sun. Wow. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, if it gets <laughs> dark, dark. And then also shows whether it turns up and down. This uh, relay that controls this light is uh, basically from the external power supply and uh, it's connected to the entire system. So uh, this light is not powered with like all the other components from the RCX unit but from an external power supply. So and we can put in like a, a, a high power light if we need that. To 20 or more. Yeah. Up to 250 and uh, 10 amps. So we can have a pretty powerful light. So, this is basically the comfort system that we designed. Yeah. So, any questions? Yes? What is your brain? <laughs> Our brain? It's uh, a uh, Hitachi X8 processor that's the wow. standard in the RCX brick. <coughs> Is there a Lego break in there? Yeah, yeah. yeah we, have we can open it. I think you can see some of the yellow stuff down here. Uh, uh, you just... Uh, can you... A screwdriver, please, in the black Yeah. So it's a Lego brain? Yes. Yeah. Uh. It's a nice camouflage. <laughs> <laughs> What language did you program your brain in? Uh, Robolab, uh, yeah. the main... Robolab. Uh, Robolab and Mentor. 
where you put objects on yes. the, on yeah. the screen. Yeah. So basic symbol operating. It's basically a lot of uh, if then else uh, questions that checks the sensor states and then it's uh, looping it. Yeah. And if then do this and then we have uh, we can set the the sensitivity of the sensors in the program and we can also s uh, add potentiometers to the light sensor so we can actually on that one so we could uh, with a screwdriver at, uh, uh, set the sensitivity of when uh, the light sensor would go on and off. Yeah. And the same thing, we could also have done that with the temperature sensor. So let's see if we can. Yeah, we're probably getting close to it. Yeah. I don't have a watch, but. So basically, it's a Lego brick, then. <coughs> that controls everything. It's running. <laughs> yeah, still running. And. Uh, yeah, here we can see the wow. potentiometer controlling the light sensitivity. Yeah. Yeah. That should actually be in a hole, so you can adjust it. Yeah. That would be a nice feature. Then this is just a board controlling all the indicator lights, so it's just uh, calculated the resistance and then added. You actually have uh, labels on your wires. <laughs> that's a nice touch. <laughs> that's very okay. sincere. It is. Yeah. That's yeah. what you do professionally. You mm. you have to mark your wires. Yeah. So, uh, as you probably can't see, we have another indicator light at the side, here, but that's actually to signify whether the relay is on or off. So if you come home, you turn on the system, but the light does not go on, and you can see if this little indicator light on the side goes on, that means the that the lamp is on, but your light bulb is broken, and you need to replace it. And uh, yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. That's what we could do with uh, the short time we had available. That's Any, yeah. other questions? Any other questions? Perfect. It seems you're off the hook. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Who's up next? Oh, and after this kind of presentation. <laughs> yeah, we probably should have ended with this, but uh, who would know? Why? Give you a robot. You'd get that. Take care. Need to open this. That's good. Yeah. Cool. Is it okay if we stay for one more? Yeah.